Coming up on this week's episode of SVG Motors Weekly. If there's one auto manufacturer that needs no introduction, it's Jeep. But I'm gonna go ahead and do it anyway. Introducing the Jeep Cherokee Overland. Today I'm talking to you about the 2018 Silverado with the Z71 package. We got a 2014 Camaro SS ball. SS, the big boy, the big V8, buddy. This weekend, 4th of July sale. I'm showing you today this 2019 Delmonico Red Ram 1500 57 liter Hemi. In this case, they want to keep the car they have, but they ask me, how can they get better gas mileage? Well, there's a few things we can do. Today, I'm going to be talking about this beautiful 2018 Chevy Cruze. Oh, need a car, oh, need a car, need a bag, need a bag. Need something better than what, what you had. Ooh. Not sure what you want to wear to go. Well, there's one place that you need to know. SVG is a place for me where you get some pure value guarantee. If there's one auto manufacturer that needs no introduction, it's Jeep. But I'm going to go ahead and do it anyway. Introducing the Jeep Cherokee Overland. It's the highest level trim of the brand. And I gotta tell you, Jeep is synonymous for ruggedness, versatility, and most of all, fun. So this Jeep Cherokee is not only rugged, but the technology in this is so cool. I mean, first and foremost, this 8.4 inch screen, it's like having a small computer in here. I mean, literally you can do almost anything you want to do with the vehicle. Literally your heated seats, uh, heated steering wheel, uh, your radio, your media controls, uh, apps, so like Pandora. Uh, but driver ventilations, notices. Obviously, you can hook your, your Bluetooth phone to it, but the climate controls and navigation, literally like having a small computer, and they call it the infotainment center. I like what they did there with that infotainment. You see what they did? Information, technology. No, <laughs> entertainment. I almost got it infotainment is what it is but anyway that's 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 what jeep does uh, and i like it oh you get nothing past me so the technology in here is not only to inform you and to entertain you but it's also there's some precautionary stuff in this system to keep you safe like the lane departure which gives you a warning when you start to go across the lane it recognizes the lines in the road uh, adaptive cruise control which literally will adapt to the speed of the vehicle in front of you, even slowing down at times. The rear parking sensors, so when you're backing up and you miss seeing that little bicycle on the video camera that comes with it, it also informs you, beep, 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 it lets you know that, hey, 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 there's something back here.
How you doing? This is Brian Lloyd here at SVG Chevrolet in Greenville. Today I'm talking to you about the 2018 Silverado with the Z71 package. Uh, very nice trucks on there. They have uh, LED running lights on these, LED fog lights. Uh, also, this thing is equipped with a 5.3 liter uh, V8, which gives you a 355 horse and can pull about uh, 10,800 pounds on there. So you can practically pull a mountain with it. What the Z71 gives you, color-coded bumper, okay? Uh, front and back color-coded bumper. It gives you Rancho shocks on there, hill descent, a uh, reinforced stabilizer bar across the front, uh, off-road skid plates. The thing is made, actually it's made to take it off-road, so anyone who owns one take, take, you know, can take it off-road without worrying about it. Um, on the round there, they give it a kind of a muscular uh, design. It's, pre it's pretty masculine, uh, really nice lines on these. The, um, and here, this is all noise deadening stuff. So uh, 13, before they redesigned these, uh, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't have found this in anything but the LTZs. Now they're doing it standard on these because A, it, keeps, it prevents from chipping, but also the noise deadening is nice on there. Coming around back here, as you can see, this particular one does have a spray in bed liner. Very nice, uh, keeps water from getting trapped underneath there. Protects the bed, keeps it looking nice. A lot of people like that because just because it's sharp looking on there. Uh, the Z71 also gives you a little bit more aggressive uh, tire. So, like I said, this is made really for off-road, you know, so uh, street and off-road. So a lot of people are scared to take them off-road, but that's what it's made for. They also, uh, when they redesigned them in 14, they actually put a step in there and a handle right there. So if you had to reach for anything, you just go in there just like that. Uh, this particular one also has a Z82 trailer and package on there which is a top-notch, a very secured trailer package. Backup camera, if you, have it, if you have a truck without a backup camera, change your world, man, change your world, because this thing, you don't have to get out and back it up to a trailer. You can see right directly down on it. Uh, right over here, key for your spare tire. So you lock, that's your lock, so your spare tire, uh, nobody can take your spare tire from you. Right here is your wiring. Also, uh, one of the things I love about these is the easy lift tailgate. So, it keeps that from slamming. My old truck that I used to have, every time I open that thing, it would slam down, scare me. This thing shuts easy, opens easy. Uh, very nice truck. Right now on these Silverados, they have up to 20% off on them, which is basically December pricing in July. Uh, we have a bunch of them in stock, ton of colors, ton of style choices, ton of, ton of trim levels to choose from. Uh, come out and see us here in Greenville. Once again, this is Brian Lloyd at SVG Chevrolet. Have a great day. Hey guys, Paul May over here, Slush over here, and let's do this. Hey guys, we're here in Greenville, Ohio. We got a 2014 Camaro SS, Paul. SS, the big boy, the big V8, buddy. This one right here, what are we asking on this one? What's in ADA retail, Paul? 32 grand. $32,000 in ADA retail, guys. This weekend, 4th of July sale, Greenville, Ohio, 28.5, guys. Hey, I got Austin in here. Austin, tell me what kind of equipment's in this uh, Camaro, bud. This Camaro has remote start, a 6.2 liter V8 with 400 horsepower, and it's got heated leather seats. How many miles are on this thing, bud? 27,448. 27, brand new, guys, brand new. Greenville, Ohio, 28.5, come get it. Plus. Go, Polly! Guess what my favorite car is? No, oh, don't tell me it's an Impala. Of course, a 1967 Impala. That's a car now. That's a car, folks. That's a car. But hey, we got an 18 Impala here, sitting in Greenville, Ohio, at SVG Chevrolet. What's in What's in ADA retail on this, Paul? Thirty grand, Rob. Thirty grand. Thirty thousand dollars, guys. This weekend, July 4th uh, sale, we're doing twenty-eight thousand dollars this weekend. I got Hunter sitting in here. Hunter, tell us a little bit about this car. Well, it's a 2018 Chevy Impala, 3.6 V6 with less than 15,000 miles. You got the chrome features on the outside from the Premier, leather interior, heated seats, and Bose premium sound system. How many miles are on it? Less than 15. Guys, you still got factory warranty on this thing, full factory warranty. Come on out, see Hunter in Greenville, Ohio. What's going on everybody? This is Zach Bogle from SVG Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram here in Eaton, Ohio. I'm showing you today this 2019 Delmonico Red Ram 1500 5.7 liter Hemi. Uh, it's the Longhorn Edition. Um, so first things first, let's talk about uh, what's going on under the hood. Now with this truck, there are three different configurations. There's the 3.6 V6, there's the three liter Eco Diesel, and there's the Top Dog Hemi 5.7 liter, uh, which brings you at 395 horsepower, 410 foot-pounds of torque. 
So you got to make sure you know what you're towing. Um, and this will tow 12,275 pounds. So this will tow a house off of this uh, blocks. Now, maybe you don't want to pull your house off the foundation, but um, what you can do is you can actually pull you know, a very large boat or uh, maybe a camper. And these mirrors will actually give you that ability. So what these do is these will actually pop up and you still got your blind spot and you've got your mirror, but they extend out a little bit wider. And so that way you can see things a little bit better. Now for 2019, they have um, done a complete refresh on the body of the Ram. So you'll notice the front end is different. The headlights are different. Um, the whole side, the back, um, everything has pretty much done, been redone with the new Ram. Um, so on the Longhorn, especially on this model, you get the 20 inch wheels um, and you get the running boards. Uh, you get this beautiful red paint job. Um, we'll come to the back and uh, you actually get a releasable tailgate that you can do from the key. Now in 2019, they redid a key and especially with the Longhorn, they give you an extra special key. Um, so that's a really nice feature that it has. Now the bed has been lined. Um, it has bed lights. Uh, it, it'll take a beating for sure. So not only are there lights at the base of the bed, but there are also lights at the top as well. So you have a lot of visibility to see your bed at night. Now, um, you also have a backup camera so you can align up to a trailer a lot easier. Um, you have parking sensors, you have your hitch, you have your uh, five and one, your seven and one, your four and one uh, hookup. Now I could spend all day talking about this, but uh, I really just want to get to the basics. So let's go to the inside and see what the comfort features are. Now one great thing about this truck is push button start. So um, also what you have with this is you have heated seats, you have cold seats, it's summertime, so it's getting really warm. Um, so you're gonna need those heated seats, now, or those cold seats. Um, it's also got a heated steering wheel. Um, in the front, it's got your traction control button. It's got your tow haul button. It's got your parking uh, front and rear turn off for the uh, parking sensors. Um, you actually do have a CD player. You don't see those nowadays much anymore. Um, and you also have your auxiliary and your USB ports in the front as well. In the back, you also have two more um, auxiliary ports and uh, or USB ports and you have your heated seats on either side. Now with this, um, you have your AM FM radio, but you also have your media. You have your climate control, um, which is dual powered on both sides, dual temperature control. Um, you have your U apps. So basically that's a, it's a big roundabout of all the apps that are available with the Ram. Um, you have your controls for your heated, your cooled seats, your heated steering wheel, and for the passenger side as well. Um, you have your mirror dimmer, your backup camera. You have uh, two different options for the backup camera so that you can see two different angles if you're backing up for a trailer or something like that. Um, you also have your settings. Um, navigation, so this truck is equipped with navigation. Uh, it's a lot easier than trying to get out your phone and figure out where to put it. And then you also have your phone hookup. Okay, so that is the 8.4 inch Uconnect. Let's drive over to the um, steering and driver information center. So what this has is uh, you've got your buttons for the um, center screen on the dash um, on this with the sp uh, speed speedometer. Um, with the actually with the Longhorn, you get a um, special speedometer and um, rev count gauge. Um, just because it is the Longhorn, it's a little engraved. Um, you also have um, all of your speedometer, you have your screen set up, uh, your messages, your audio, uh, your trailer tow, and then you have your trip info, gas, uh, fuel economy, all that kind of stuff. Um, you have your cruise control settings, um, and then you have your gear limiter. It's a lot easier when you're towing uh, to decide what gear you want to be in, so it helps you out a huge amount with that. Over here you have your four-wheel drive. Um, it is a push button four wheel drive setup. So it's an auto four wheel drive, um, what we're set in right now. But you can have it in two wheel drive and you can also have it in, in neutral, obviously, and four high and four low. So this is pretty much like a mobile office. Uh, you can pretty much do anything that you would ever want to in this truck. Um, you have a lot of storage space with this. Uh, you have a two compartment um, glove compartment in the middle. Um, you have a USB port in the back. You lift this up and it goes. Uh, much deeper inside 
Um, you also have this little compartment here. You flip it up and then there's a little coin tray, a little miscellaneous tray. You have your cup holders in the front. And if you push this back, you have a lot more storage space in the front as well. So you've got your 115 volt, um, 400 watt, three prong plug-in. Now up here, you also have something really unique. Um, it's got your trigonomic tree uh, ratios. It's got your standard to metric conversions. Um, you've got a little compass and you've got, you know, all kinds of stuff. I could go all day about this truck, but the main thing is you got to come in, you got to drive it. It's a wonderful experience. Come out and see me, Zach, or come out and see one of the salesmen down here in Eaton, Ohio. Uh, we'll get you all taken care of out here at SVG. So I hope to see you here soon and uh, I appreciate you guys tuning in. Angel, what's up? Hi, Steven. How are you today? Well, you know, I like coming and seeing you every once in a while, but this time I have a question. Okay. Not all of my customers are ready to buy a new car as much as I'd like them to. But we can move them up a couple, couple years, years, keep their payments, payments the same. Yeah, but in this case, they want to keep the car they have, but they ask me, how can they get better gas mileage? Well, there's a few things we can do. One is always make sure you have a clean air filter. That is very important to the fuel mileage. Two, make sure your tires are pumped up to the correct uh, air pressure. Okay, so I can get a new air filter, that makes sense, and uh, check the tire pressure on my tires, because that makes sense to, to uh, improve my gas mileage, but there's gotta be another way to get better gas mileage. Well, there's also a few other things you can do. Number one is do a fuel system treatment, and what that does is we, we have the three part here for, I think it's $129.95, and what we do is we're gonna put an additive in your gas tank, and that's going to start from the gas tank up to the front of the vehicle. We're going to go through, we're going to clean the injectors. We're going to clean the top engine, top part of your engine. And the reason we do that, and I'll show you right here, this is what happens over time. And, and that is so true. I, I, you would not believe some of the messes we've cleaned up off of engines. This is a brand new one and we want to keep it close to this as humanly possible. That's why we try to do the whole fuel system treatment. So we treat all of the system, not just one part of it. Um, we clean out the throttle body, we do all that. In my car, I bought my car at 55,000 miles and I have 227,000 miles on it. And I still get the same gas mileage I got when I bought the car because I keep my fuel system cleaned out. And it's highly recommended to do that maybe once a year and like I said we can take care of it all in about an hour and a half for about $129.95 and, and you are good to go for another year. Angel, thank you so much. You're I welcome. always love coming back here and learning new stuff from you about uh, cars and things like that. You know I like selling them but I think it's <laughs> kind of cool to fix them and do different things so thank you. I had no idea that there was so much you could do to improve your gas mileage. Definitely. I'm glad you came back. Thanks. Good to see you. Good to see you. All right. Great job last month. We did awesome, but we got to keep the momentum going. We got to sell some cars and I got an idea. I'm thinking what we do is move our customers up a couple years in their vehicles and keep their payments close to the same. You feel me? Move them up a couple years, keep their payments the same. Move them up a couple years, keep their payments the same. Move them up a couple years, keep their payments the same. Move them up a couple years, keep their payments the same. Move them up a couple years, keep their payments the same. Move them up a couple years, keep the payments the same. Move them up a couple years, keep the payments the same. Hey guys, Slush here again. We got Paul Mayo here. We're out here again at SVG Chevy in Greenville, sitting here looking at a 2017 Ford Taurus, Paul. Ford Taurus. Nice car. Clean, low mile. NADA retail, 22 grand. Guys, this weekend here in Greenville, Ohio, we're gonna do 19.5, guys, 19.5. I got Tyler you in the can't car. Do that. Tyler, I gotta do it, but we gotta get these things out of here. Tyler, what's going on in this thing? Uh, low miles, we got 37,000 miles on it, loaded up, leather interior, you got heated seats, air conditioned seats, and a heated steering wheel. And it's boasting up to 29 miles per gallon highway. Hey guys, come on out here this weekend, see Tyler Mansion here in Greenville, and take this little baby home with you. Look at here, guys. We got a we got a Buick rolling up here, Paul. It's a 2015 Buick Regal, one of the icon vehicles of the day. Right. You know, nice car, nice, nice car, guys. MSRP's 19 grand, Paul. What are we gonna do this weekend on this one? 
I'm thinking 17 maybe. I think 16 8, Paul. Let's do 16 8 this week. Kill me, boss. That? 16 8. Hey, I got Allison in here, guys. Allison, tell us all about this one. Uh, this Buick's got a 2.0 4 liter, uh, also with a turbo. Uh, gets you great gas mileage. You got leather, heated seats. It's all touch. Cool, cool. How many miles are on this? It's only got 31,000. 31,000 miles, guys. Still under factory warranty. Come out and see uh, uh, Allison here and she'll get you taken care of. Come on. Uh-oh. Oh, look here. Look what we got coming here, buddy. Yeah, baby. It's a flagship of GM. 2016 Cadillac. What Cadillac is this one? ATS. ATS. It's got a sunroof on it. Paul, this is a good-looking car. And it's silver. Look at the headlights on it. I love it. Smooth, streamlined. Oh, wow, man. Hey, NATA. 21.5, Paul. What are we going to sell it for this weekend? 19. Oh, come on, Paul. We can do better than that. You know that. Let's do 18.8, guys. 18.8 this weekend in Greenville. I got Amber in here. Amber, tell us a little bit about this car. Well, this car, it's got the Bose premium sound system, and it only has a little over 11,000 miles on it. It was a personal lease vehicle, one owner, so you know it was taken care of very, very well. Brand okay. spanking new almost, 11,000 miles, guys. Come on out to Greenville this weekend, 4th of July sale. See Amber, take this baby home with you. If you don't, I will. <laughs> Let's go. Hey, everybody. This is Corey from SVG Chevrolet here in beautiful Greenville, Ohio. Today, I'm going to be talking about this beautiful 2018 Chevy Cruze. Now, the new body styles are 250 pounds lighter than the old previous body styles, and they have 1.2 more inches room. Underneath the hood is a 1.4 liter Ecotec motor, turbocharged, 253 horsepower with 177 foot pounds of torque. So no worries about that get up and go speed. This vehicle's got it all right here for you. The 2018 Cruze have these beautiful wraparound lights, also with the beautiful LED daytime running lights here. Now you also do have the halogen projector bulbs instead of the regular old traditional chrome housing. Now what this one also has is, as you can see, since it's an RS, the, it has a different front fascia and it all, will also come with the fog lights here on the bottom. Now what this Cruise has is the RS body package. Now it does have the different front fascia and the different grille, also with the side skirts here on the side. And when we get to the back bumper, you'll also see that it is completely different from the other packages. Now, of course, the 2017s and newers are gonna have uh, the backup camera that is standard. Now, this is one of GM's safest, smaller sedans that are out on the road today. Five-star crash rating and also 10 airbags. Can you believe that? 10 airbags in this thing. We have a lot of these 2018 cruises here on the lot and we are running a special up to 20% off on these cruises. So if you're in need of a deal, come up here, test drive one of these babies and I'll be more than happy to help out. This is Corey Morris from SVG Chevrolet here in Greenville, Ohio. So there's a lot of features on this vehicle meant to protect you and to prevent an accident. Along with safety, this vehicle comes equipped with 10 airbags, 10 airbags. And, you know, many years ago when SUVs first came out, they were notorious for going around a hard turn, the potential of maybe rolling over. Um, this vehicle comes with a rollover mitigation system that senses that and it adjusts the tires to prevent that from happening. Another really nice feature is the seven inch screen here in between your tachometer and your speedometer uh, that right now is showing me my speed, but it goes down through your speed, also your vehicle information, your tire pressure, uh, your driver assist, fuel economy, trip in information, stop and start, audio programs, and stored messages. No stored messages proof that this is a brand new vehicle because Lord knows my phone's got messages. What I like most about this Jeep Cherokee is the styling of the front end. It is absolutely one of a kind and unique. When you're going down the road and you see a Jeep Cherokee, you know that's exactly what it is. There's not another vehicle like it. The styling of the front end, I love the seven slots in the front and they call that the waterfall effect. Love it. But most of all, I like the three lights. Most vehicles have these all in one, but this is the daytime running light with your turn signal, your headlights, and your fog lights. 
the front end on this vehicle from somebody looking at it in the rearview mirror is intimidating. It's like a mean face. Oh. Underneath this beautiful hood, you have two options for engines. You can get the four-cylinder engine, which gives you 184 horsepower, 170 foot-pounds of torque, and gets you up to 25 miles to the gallon. Or the V6, like we have here, that gets you 271 horsepower and 240 foot-pounds of torque. Both amazing engines, but I gotta tell you, the V6, you only lose one mile to the gallon. You get 24 miles to the gallon with this. Love driving these Jeeps. If you're looking for an SUV that doesn't look like every other SUV on the market, you got to put the Cherokee on your shopping list. Driving this vehicle, the engine performance is excellent. 25 miles to the gallon, excellent. The technology, unbelievable. Smooth, yet versatile and able to go off-roading. I tell you what, this one may not be available because I like it that much. It stands out and it just says me, I like it. You know what? I think I'm just going to drive this one home. Thanks for watching another episode of SVG Motors Weekly. And if you haven't done it yet, go to youtube.com and subscribe to the SVG Motors channel. Or go to our Facebook page and like our page. And last but not least, if you want to see future episodes, go to your DVR and search SVG Motors and catch future episodes. Thanks again for watching.